What is going on, guys? Wiser here, and I am bringing the recap of the last war for Invicta. Uh, it's against this Endless Wars clan uh, from the good old US of A, uh, level 8. We were hoping for a little bit of adversity. We definitely don't get to face too many American clans. I guess that's just the way the game is. There's so many, like... South Korean and Russian clan, so kind of a bit of a treat whenever you get to face some Americans. Uh, and with the 200 wins, we were hoping for a little bit of, a, of adversity, I should say. <clears throat> but 71 to 58 was the final, and Victor was victorious, as you can see. They struggled a little bit on the three star count. They did get a few in there, you know, nine three stars, a couple bullies in there, but uh, they gave it their best, so hats off to them. Uh, but definitely. Uh, Better effort by Invicta, just missed that one two-star on that Town Hall 10. Other than that, cleared the board all the way down on the nines. So nice job, boys and girls, I should say. Um, or girl, I believe Queen QC is our remaining female in the 2.0 chain. Unfortunately, uh, Generator, uh, one of uh, the females in uh, 2.0. Recently just retired, or maybe a, a temporary retire, we'll call it. She needed some time to kind of do some things other than Clash, but is what it is. So <clears throat> we're just going to jump right in and check out some of these replays because there's some really sexy attacks in here. I uh, wanted to roll through a few of these. Let's start off with Hinraka's hit on their top Town Hall 9. So Hin does a really good job here, uh, sending in this little bit of a hog group, sends in five hogs on this uh, compartment. The goal here is to take out those four defenses in that compartment, move them into this wizard tower, take out that wizard tower. Uh, and what this is going to do is not only pull up the CC troops, but there's a double giant bomb tucked right in there, and he's diffusing that whole double giant bomb. So the heal was necessary. Those hogs would not have taken down that wizard tower without the heal. So really good uh, thought on that. The other nice thing was he got a skelly trap on top of the CC lure. Um, so it was like a double whammy for that poison. Double poison goes down, as you can see. He's going to take out that dragon. And then go ahead and send in <clears throat> his shattered entry from uh, about this 10, 11 o'clock position. Uh, boom, down goes that first golem. Second golem is going to go down. Going to create a bit of a funnel. Uh, really just wants to take out that whole section of buildings all the way at the top. Uh, nice job with that, though. A couple wizards go down that lock on this king, but it doesn't matter. They just, just, just get the funnel created um, in time because uh, the wizard, these two wizards lock onto that king, and then this wizard ends up locking onto that king. But it doesn't really matter. Like, wall's open. Everything's starting to road into that compartment. So king goes down. That funnel is created, even though that building isn't down yet. It does go down. Um, but it wouldn't have mattered because those buildings are leading the Valks and the King right into this compartment. Jump spell goes down. I thought it was good placement on that too because you do not want to connect these side compartments uh, with the risk of the Valks taking a walk before they get into that Queen Chamber. So he just wants to force everything to the Queen. And that's exactly what's going to happen. King and Valks walk right onto that Queen. <laughs> After the Queen goes down, the King jumps back just to check out his Queen, make sure she's good. <laughs> she takes down the defensive king, so he moves on. Everything's going to take down that town hall and then move right into those tests. So see this little lone hog here? I like that. One hog in on that uh, outer mortar, takes him down all by himself. Almost takes out that air defense as well. Uh, all in his lonesome. Uh, about four or five hogs in on each of these kind of clusters of defenses. Sends in the exact same, another four or five hogs in this top compartment. Heal uh, is down on the hogs down here over that expo. Thought that was really good. Once the hogs kind of work through this, there's really, if you look right now, there's three air defenses and a cannon. So basically clean up, clean up wizards went down instantly as well. I thought that was really good. Hin Raka just killed this base, buddy. Nice job. <clears throat> So sexy tree stars in the bag. Beautiful. All right. So moving on here. Number eight I had marked down. Ghost next going in on Jamesy Boy. <clears throat> I want to show this base because of the dead zone. Um, in my opinion, this is a very good example of a failed dead zone. Um, first of all, the clan castle is in there. So it's not a true dead zone. Just looking at it as is. Um, because things like Valks and your King will go in there. Now, at least if it's just a neutral building and not a defensive structure, you could make the argument that this dead zone is going to force your golems or giants to stray away from the core where your Valks and King might go in there unprotected. That's an argument, I suppose, but I'm a huge, huge believer in if it's a dead zone, guys, make it a dead zone. You're about to find out too. There's a quad Tesla in here that 
definitely completely negates the purpose of a dead zone because now that there's defenses in there there it's really just a completely fake dead zone once you realize that stuff's in there everything's going to path normally right into that core and in fact you could even just place a jump everything's going to walk right up to that queen chamber or vice versa so really didn't like the guy's dead zone here i thought it was a good example of um this newer concept that's not getting used properly in all cases uh again just my opinion but guys if it's a dead zone make it a dead zone <laughs> Uh, poison goes down, takes care of the CC troops. This queen's going to get huge, huge value. Rage goes down to help things out. She's going to rock through that CC like nothing. Take out those Teslas. I believe this queen gets all four Teslas and Expo. Um, every defense you see in these bottom compartments is all this queen's work. So huge value on this walk. Definitely worth that rage. Definitely worth everything else. Shattered entry goes in right at this queen chamber. Wall breakers open things up. He's going to let the golems in and then drop his king in behind. Uh, doesn't get to create the best of the funnels. Um, so kind of that army can't really help them out because you'll see this king starts to walk. But then as soon as it gets over here, oh, he reroutes back into that queen. So uh, going right in. Sorry, I got to turn this down. My daughter's just watching some television. <clears throat> Uh, but jump placement goes down. Defensive queen is dead. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and send in. He's got 15 hogs. He's going to start sending them in from like 2 o'clock here and just feeding them around down to this expo. See that this queen's still doing work down there. All the, like I said, all those defenses, all four of those Teslas were absolutely no problem for her whatsoever. Still has the ability. Hasn't even burnt the ability. So hogs are all in. Um, does trigger a bomb there. No big deal. I think he only lost two or three hogs there. Uh, sprinkled in all over the place. There's an expo that this queen is about to step up and help out with. Finally burns the ability. Boom. Two shots on an expo. There is an air defense remaining, and that is it. Loses a few hogs to that final spring trap, unfortunately. But it's gotten way more than enough cleanup around the base that it doesn't matter. Um, guess he did have two hogs there, but whatever. Ghost Nix with the tree stars in the bag. Nice job, buddy. <clears throat> all right. So, um, Zero is 9.5, so I don't want to show this because it's kind of a bully. Uh, but one thing I did notice is uh, going through the war events, uh, a lot of these bases were three-starred multiple times just because there's no targets remaining. Uh, and specifically, Kadic hit that number 10 base down a king. Kadic, since he was down a king, did a scout for one of our 10s um, on one of their 10s, I believe. But uh, decided to go in on this number 10. I believe this base was already three-starred. Or maybe not. Maybe Zero did it a second time just faster. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but Kadic goes in here with a really great plan. Sends in this hog lure. One thing you'll notice, guys, especially when you see the enemy clan castle is full of this drag loon. Take that lure and poison that shit. I can't stress this more. Like... <laughs> If they're giving it to you, especially if it's a one hog lure, guys, just take it. Take it, see what it is. Even if it's the first hit and you don't know what it is. Could be a lava hound, could be a goal. If it's a lava hound or a goal, just start your attack and just move on. If it's DPS troops, you know, witches, wizards, dragons, anything else, basically, poison that shit, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a first hitter primarily. Um, so I almost, almost, I'd say like 95% of the time, bring bring that at least one poison, if not two poisons. Um, and I look for the lure so I can I can lure it out. Because just like the old days, if you don't bring your poison and you don't have a method, you know, at least a rage for your kill squad and, and they're not engaging the CC at a good, at a good point in the base, it can really mess up your raid, guys. It still is possible for that to happen. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, Look at Caddick's Queen Walk here. I thought this was uh, great. Uh, one thing I should have pointed out while it was going on. Uh, he delayed the healers, dropping the healers, because that air defense was going to be in range of them. So he waited till the air defense was almost dead, then dropped the healers. And if you see one of these healers help, it's at a sliver. Like one more touch from that air defense, and it was dead. But it, just perfect timing on that. Had to burn the ability there because the expo and those point defense were locked on. But it's no big deal. Uh, does that. And he's going to round this out and close off this queen walk in this little section. He's already sent in a cold-blooded golem. Funnel's getting created. Sends in the Valks on that little breadcrumb there. They're going to walk right up to that storage. Uh, keep in mind, no king for this raid. I thought that was fantastic. Jump goes down. Valks are going to lock right onto that queen. 
Bam, bam, bam. Wizards help out. Defensive queen is dead in a couple swipes. So it goes ahead and starts sprinkling the hogs in these outer defenses. Uh, notice his queen now uh, has taken out all the stuff. She was almost dead, but has now got healed right back up. She's taken out that expo all on her own. Uh, just just beautiful value on your troops here, Caddick. Uh, heal goes down to take care of those hogs as everything's kind of working its way in a clockwise motion around the rest of the base. Sprinkling in a few more hogs here, a few more hogs there. Got one more heal that's going to go down over this little section. He does miss. There's a, a single bomb in between the Expo and Archer Tower there. I actually initially thought it was going to be a DGB and he's going to lose all his hogs right here. Uh, but that was not the case. Bam. Single bomb. Hogs with sliver of health left, but it doesn't matter. Just destroyed this base. <laughs> Healer runs around and heals them all up. I thought that was really funny too. Nice job, Caddick. Kingless Tree Star. <coughs> Right on, right on. Let's move on to, what I got? Ryan, oh yeah, yeah 15. Ryan hitting Jordan here. Uh, I like this attack. Uh, brings a Zap Quake, brings five dragons, brings a Queen Walk. So kind of a very, you know, a lot of moving parts to this attack. Uh, queen Walk goes down, instantly drops a couple Wizards to kind of help create this funnel. Really wants to push the Queen down and around. <clears throat> his goal is to get this air defense. He's going to double zap quake, I believe, the core air defense, and then send in all the dragons at that one. Um, I'm kind of not 100% <laughs> familiar. Uh, I, I haven't watched this attack more than the initial time that I watched it. Um, but yeah, everything's going to plan here. Queen's going to move the way down. I'm really interested to see where the zap quake is going to go down. It's on one of these core air defenses. <clears throat> getting good value out of that level 30 queen though right like this queen walk is just going great taking out tons of troops cc lure goes down that tesla pops just in time so that queen can take it out before she continues her way down um down and around poison goes down take care of those loons queen's gonna lock onto that dragon in a sec the rage goes down to help her out really wants to try and conserve that ability and i think he is able to uh just needs to take care of that balloon down it goes cannon's about to go down she is going to continue her way and get great great value Boom, here come the wizards, gonna start creating that funnel on this side. I believe is gonna charge everything in to the base here. Just needs a couple more of these trash buildings to go down. Here comes his king. That level 30 king is just a beast. Wall breakers in, let the king inside, let the queen inside. They're gonna just work their way into this base. The king's gonna do a little bit of tanky for that queen while she steps up and takes out care of these air defense. But that was a great little move. Wizard Tower is going to go down. Queen's just got to step up, finish off those air defense, and things are looking great. Down goes one, and down goes two. Zapquake has already been deployed on that air defense. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes that remaining air defense. Fantastic job. Dragons are already in. A few balloons kind of sprinkling in, helping out on the Archer Towers and the rest of the defenses. Rage goes down. Dragons are in, just rocking up that Queen Chamber. Space does not stand a chance from this point. Like 77% damage already, and the dragons haven't even been touched. Still has balloons working around, taking out this maybe a Tesla, an Archer Tower, and a grounded expo to go. A lot of, lot of time for these dragons to clean up. Absolutely beautiful job, Ryan. Sexy attack. Tree stars in the bag. All right. One more to show you guys here. DWS, Invictus War General. Taking advantage of this ring style base, I've said it once, I've said it again, is, oh goodness, I got a, I got a visitor to join us for this, for this last replay here, guys. Say hi, Lily. Hi, guys. All right, so DWS uh, really exposes this ring base, guys. I've said this before, ring within a ring. Yeah, you want some jelly beans? She wants some jelly beans. I got a little jelly belly dispenser on my desk. And she's addicted. <laughs> okay. Let daddy finish this up here. Uh, so DWS exposes, like I was saying, this ring within a ring, right? I always either bring Valks or even just a stone entry. If you got high level heroes, um, a stone entry, uh, once you get them into that ring, is going to get huge value because they have access to almost the entirety of the base. They can't get to the outer compartments, but that's what you bring these hogs for, right? So this queen walk's going great. Poison goes down. Uh... CC troops are dead. Queen's going to lock onto even that defensive queen. So great, great value out of this little bit of a queen walk. And she's just going to continue working her way down. 
and around this base. As you can see, has sent in his entry uh, with that golem, uh, just a cold-blooded golem, right? Because he's got all those Valks. Uh, created a bit of that, uh, you know, my like I said this before too, my problem with the cold-blooded entry is the ability to create your funnel. Well, if you start one side with the queen walk, that creates half of your funnel. So the cold-blooded, you can use to create the other side, send everything into this core like DW is done here. Valks are in under that heel. They're just going to shred this core and has already started sprinkling the hogs in on the outer defenses. So as you can see, everything's getting taken down splendidly. Heel goes down right as soon as that bomb goes off. Takes care of those hogs like nothing. There's really just a core uh, Tesla Expo, uh, you know, that outer archer tower. Queen walk is still going great. It's got three wizards on either side of the funnel just doing cleanup. DWS just destroyed this base. Nice job, my friend. Sexy tree stars in the bag. All right. That was a good one, eh, Lo? Yeah. yeah, I know. All right, so Endless Wars. Good luck, uh, better luck next time, guys. Uh, it picked a really just, uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah, I'm showing them those. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm gonna call it a day. As you can see, I got my, literally have my hands full here. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the recap. Uh, like I said, Endless Wars, better luck next time. It was, uh, it was a tough one for you guys, and Victor really brought the heat on this one. Can uh, You've had enough jelly beans. Yeah. She's had enough jelly beans. <laughs> Anyways, that'll do it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, we're out.